Hello YouTubers, I'm Paris and in this video I'm going to introduce Python Top 5 Game Engines. So these game engines are 3D game engines and also 2D game engines. Also I'm going to show you the installation process with uh, a simple example for every game engine. So now let's get started. The first game engine that we are going to talk that's called Panda 3D. So Panda 3D is a powerful 3D engine written in C++ language with a complete set of Python bindings. Unlike other game engines, these bindings are automatically generated. It means that they are always up to date and complete. And all functions of the engine can be controlled from Python. So all major Panda 3D applications have been written in Python. And also Panda 3D supports automatic shader generation, which uh, it means that you can use normal maps, gloss maps, glow maps, HDR, uh, cartoon shadings uh, without having to write any shaders. So Panda 3D is a 3D game engine. So now let me show you the installation process and also a simple example. So for the installation, you can just uh, simply write pep install uh, Panda 3D and it at enter it will be installed. So I have already installed this and I don't want to install this again. Okay, so now I'm using PyCharm ID. Let me just create uh, my code. So from direct.showbase.showbase, I'm going to import showbase. Now I need to create a class my app that extends from the showbase. Let me just create my constructor and in it, okay, so show base dot init and the parenthesis self. Now we need to load our scene. Are there different scenes, uh, environment model? So uh, create the environment models that you can use in uh, uh, Panda 3D these are built in uh, so let me just use one of them self.scene and self.loader.load uh, model so load model load model and uh, you can give the part of the model so it's in the models and it is an environment environment model environment okay now after this we need to reparent the model for the rendering so you can simply write self dot scene dot reparent to and uh, we need to add our render in here so render after this we need to apply scale and position transform for our model so self dot scene dot set scale and I want to set the scale so let me just copy this okay so this is my scale and also I need to set the position so scene dot set pose and minus eight 42 and 0 okay so now this is our code and now we need to create the object of my applic app and we need to run our app so app dot run now let me just run this hopefully we don't get any error so now this is our window now I am waiting for loading of my uh, Okay, now you can see this is our environment and this is a Panda 3D game engine first scene or we can call it a uh, hello world. The second game engine that we are going to talk that is called Coco Studio. So Coco Studio is uh, an open source framework that is used to build 2D games and other cross-platform GUI based interactive programs. It's written in Python using Piglet library and it targets the operating systems like Linux, Mac or Windows uh, like this. So now let me just show you the installation process and example of Cocos 2D. 
So Coco Studio is mostly used for 2D as the name suggests. Okay, so for the for the installation of Cocos uh, 2D, you can simply write pip install uh, Cocos uh, 2D, hit enter, and it will be installed. So I have already installed this, and uh, I don't want to install it again. Okay, so the first thing I need, uh, I'm going to import uh, Cocos like this, and now we need to create a class. I call it my app that. Uh, extends from cocos dot layer dot layer like this uh, now we need to create our init uh, in here so init method and after this we need to call our super function or method in here so super and my app self dot init uh, I want to create a label for this so now let me just create a label is a, a subclass of a Cocos node so you can simply create a Cocos dot text dot label and now we need to give the text so for the text I want to give it a Cocos game engine and uh, we need to give a font name so sorry so for the font name, uh, I want it should be Times New Roman, and also we need to give a font size. So for 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 the font size, I want to 32, or even I want 30. And now we need to give the anchor anchor X. So for the anchor X, I want it should be in the center. And for the anchor Y, I want it should be also in the center. Okay. So after this, now we need to set the position of our text to X and Y position. So label dot uh, position, and it is a tuple. So I want to give it 320 and also 240. And uh, after this, we need to add our label as a child. So self dot add and we need to add our label in here so now let me just uh, create my uh, main function in here so because uh, okay now it's out of the class so let me call it diff main and in here the first thing we need we need to initialize the director because uh, this takes care of our main window so cocos uh, dot director dot director dot init and uh, after this we need to instantiate our app so I call it app layer and my app after this we need to create uh, our uh, main scene so we need to create a main scene so like this cocos dot scene and dot scene and we need to add our app layer in here and at the end we need to run the scene so dot director dot director dot run and we need to add our main scene in here like this okay so now let me just call my main method in here if underscore name underscore main and I'm going to call my main uh, main in here like this okay so now let me just run this and hopefully we don't get any error okay so now you can see that this is our first uh, window game window in Cocos 2d the third game engine that we are going to call that's uh, uh, Pygame. So Pygame is a free and cross-platform Python modules designed for writing multimedia applications and video games. So it includes computer graphics and sound libraries designed to be used with a Python programming language. Pygame is built on top of the SDL library. So SDL stands for Simple Direct Media Layer. It's a cross-platform development library 
designed to provide low level access to audio, keyboard, mouse, joysticks and also graphic hardwares via OpenGL and also uh, Direct3D. So like is DLPy game is also highly portable and runs on nearly in every platform and operating uh, systems. So now let me just show you the installation process and also a simple example of Pi game. So for the installation you can simply write pip uh, install Pi game and hit enter it will be installed. So I've already installed this and I don't want to install it again. Okay. So first thing we need we need to import a uh, Pi game. And after this, uh, the first thing we need, we need to initialize our modules that's required for Pygame. So Pygame.init. And after this, we need to create a screen. So for the Pygame, so Pygame.display.display.setMode. And... Uh, we need to give uh, the uh, width and height of the window so 400 by 300 and after this let me just uh, create a variable of done false and now uh, while not done so if this is the case we are going to create for a for loop so for event in pi game dot event dot gate get so this so this pi game dot event dot get this uh, empties the event uh, queue uh, if you do not call this our game will become unresponsive in the opinion of the operating system so now after this we need to create an if so if event dot type is pi game dot quit so it's uh, we are checking that if the user uh, click on the quit uh, we are going to make the done to true like this okay and uh, after that we need to uh, because pi game is a double buffer then we need to swap the buffer so pi game dot this play dot flip like this okay this is for swapping the buffers so now let me just run this and we will see so I have a little problem I need to add this in here and now let me just run it again and now you can see that this is our first simple uh, window uh, in Pi game engine so the fourth game engine or game framework is called Piglet so Piglet is a cross-platform windowing and multimedia library for Python and it is intended for developing games and other visually rich applications so it supports windowing uh, user interface event handling and also OpenGL graphics loading images and videos and playing sounds and music so I have set the piglet as a cross-platform and it works on Windows OS X and also Linux so now let me show you the example and also uh, the installation process so for the installation you can simply write pip install piglet and it will be installed so now the first thing we need let me just create an example import piglet and after this we need to create our window so window piglet dot window dot window and after this now we need to create our window event so event This is like a decorator so on and on draw we are going to clear our window so dot clear like this okay so now we need to run this piglet dot app dot run 
Now let me just run this. Now you can see that this is our first window in Peaklet. So the last uh, game uh, framework that uh, can be used that's called Kiwi. So Kiwi is an open source Python library for rapid development of applications uh, that make uh, that uh, for rapid development of applications such as multi-touch apps also uh, also it is used for game development uh, Kiwi runs uh, it's a cross-platform uh, framework that runs on Linux Windows OS X Android iOS and Raspberry Pi so it's a good framework it's used also for Android development and uh, iOS uh, also for des desktop applications and also it's used for game development so now let's let me show you the installation and also a simple example so for the installation of Kiwi, first of all, you need to install the de dependency of uh, the isdl2 or glue. So you can use this command and hit enter, it will be installed. So after installation of this, uh, you can install. So for right now, I have already installed. And uh, after that, you need to install pip install Kiwi and hit enter and it will be also installed. So now let me just show you a simple example uh, now from let me just first uh, uh, do my imports in here so from kiwi dot app I'm going to import app and from kiwi dot uix dot uh, label import label let me just create a class test app and I want to add my app in here and in the diff build I'm going to just return a label with the text of uh, hello kiwi world just simple and now you can just run your uh, test app dot run now let me just run this okay now you can see that this is our hello kiwi world uh, application in uh, kiwi Okay, in con conclusion, we have saw these uh, top five game engines in Python programming language. So, if you are building a 2D game, so it will be good that you can go with uh, a Coco Studio or Pygame. So, it's a good 2D game frameworks or engines. But if you want to build a 3D game, so it will be a good idea that you use uh, Panda 3D. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.